we exchange photos and stuff like that, and he goes, oh, you're trans? And I say, yeah, is that a problem? And he goes, no, completely fine. And I was like, oh, awesome, like, no hold-ups, no nothing. We, it was great. Hello, I'm Francis. I'm David. So today we're going to be talking about how to hit up trans guys for uh, dating, sex, hookups, um, or even just casual conversation if you meet somebody and find out that they're trans. How do you approach them appropriately? I'm single. I'm in. I'm, I would like to start dating. I'm not um, super I'm content single, being single, but I'm open to possibilities. And I'm freshly single. Um, recently getting back into the dating world, the hookup scene, and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Definitely just like to share some of my experiences with that as a gay trans guy. Especially like being thrown back into like the lines. Um, yes, uh, I use uh, Hinge and OkCupid for looking for dates and stuff like that, but mostly the, the most interaction I get is actually uh, from guys off Grindr. Usually it would be Grindr or um, like a, a, some type of dating profile that like already like displays it so I don't really have to like uh, have that awkward conversation that I usually have in bars when uh, guys are like all over me and I'm like oh this is nice let's stop here uh, and just disappear. I'm actually kind of weird and I like don't disclose on apps um, just for like my own mental health like I'm I'm stealth I the only people who know that I'm trans obviously are like my really close friends and my doctor because I think that those are really the only people who need to know. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm having sex with them, then I'll disclose. But if it's just like fun, flirty stuff, it's kind of like, well, why would they need to know? And I don't also don't blame you for not disclosing on Grindr or any of those apps because it can bring a lot of hate. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I will be flirtatious and, you know, uh, play the game with them and then I'll just just be like, oh, like, I'm on Instagram and then they can take a look at my Instagram, like not in the moment, mm. but the next day, mm. and if they are interested or if not interested, no big deal. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> what really gets me is that I'm usually people's first FTM. Mm. Oh, it's because I, I, I hate, I hate, hate that, that word. word. I've had so many guys like that follow me on Instagram that will try to like tap me, and they'll literally just like I'll see them change their profile. I'll be like, I'm into FTM, you know? and like, or FTM is a plus. And I'm like, no, 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 it's like, it's like saying BBC. It's like yeah. saying like, BBC is a plus. I'm being literally, I'm being I'm being I mean, seen as this porn category. category. The education aspect is like such a big part of like being a trans person or being trans and gay. I find specifically, every person I meet up with or every person that I'm dating or whatever, they'll always have questions, which is fine. I don't mind educating people or telling people about it if it's genuine interest and concern and, you know, wanting to know more about how to be a good trans ally to other trans guys they might be with. A major resource currently that I would recommend is getprime.ca. Um, it's very educational with like how to approach trans men. The sort of taboo around like being with a trans guy is like, I'm not entirely sure where it comes from because the majority of people that I know are normal people and just want to be treated like a normal person and like not just seen as a sex object or just seen as like something to try on your bucket list. I will admit I have been super, super lucky these past, what, four months since I've been back in this scene where the people who I have chosen to disclose with or chosen to hook up with have all been like lovely people about it. But the problem that I face with this is I feel like they're only using me for sex and they don't want to see me as anything more than just like somebody to have sex with, not like open for being partners. Like we'll go on dates, we'll have sex, we'll do things that couples do, yeah. but they won't, like they're not interested in being in a relationship with me. And I think it's because I'm trans. A really great interaction that I had recently on Grindr was uh, actually a couple days ago with uh, this guy who I guess lives in my neighborhood. He's like a couple hundred meters away. Never seen him. Doesn't have a Facebook. Whatever. I Usually I'm like, no Facebook, no chat, but whatever. He had a, he had a chest photo and a couple other ones and I was like, whatever. That's what it was. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He messaged me and he was like, hey, do you have a Facebook? Because the one that I have on my profile is kind of grainy. So fair. And I sent him a photo and I go, and he goes, oh, do you want to like hook up today? And I was like, uh, not really. I'm kind of busy, but just so you know, like Friday maybe. And he goes, yeah, sure. And I said, okay. Like we exchange photos and stuff like that. And he goes, oh, you're trans? And I say, yeah, is that a problem? And he goes, no, completely fine. 
And I was like, oh, awesome. Like no holdups, no nothing. It was great. It's a nice interaction because you're, we're used to seeing it, having someone react like a big Like deal. negatively to it. Like yeah. negatively, but also just sometimes it's just a big deal. Even if it's in a, a positive way, it can be it can be such a big deal to someone that's like, oh wait. Uh, am I at the bucket list? Am I on the list that you were like, oh my god, yeah. treasure? <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's certainly uh, like not at all what we're looking for. We <laughs> want it just somewhere in between where you just treated like any other person, any other man. I'm always wondering, how are you viewing me? Are you viewing me as just another guy that you're attracted, someone you're attracted to, or your or your best of both worlds? And uh, people forget that attraction can be, is possible in it, uh, to be more than just genitalia focused. For example, I am not attracted to genitalia at all. I'm attracted to the face. I'm attracted to the body, the, the chest, the chest, the chest. The chest. Yeah. <laughs> when bottoming, um, it's not a hole that all trans men are comfortable using. And if they're tops, they're not comfortable using it all. Mostly the reason why someone might not want to use it. Just just dysphoria. 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 And I think that's the root of why we exist in general, usually. You know, like, uh, just like, we're not comfortable with how we're born and we might not want to be boxed into how we're portrayed in porn. Yes. Yeah.